Hi guys, it's Alex and Brooke and Gloria from West Coast, middle of the country and East Coast actually. Um, we are really sad that we can't be there with you and we love you and we miss you. So in the spirit of camp, we wanted to get together and share some camp memories. So my, one of my favorite camp memories is the year that I lost a bet at softball and my athletes had me get a broom and pretend that was it was a horse. And during dinner, they played Taylor Swift on the big speakers and I had to ride a broom around the dining hall and jump over chairs and pretend it was a horse. It was really embarrassing at the time, but now I think it's kind of funny. And another camp memory that I love is when Father Anthony dressed up like Santa and he went up on the roof of the dining hall and then came in and gave everyone gifts and just pretended to be Santa all night. So that was a really fun memory. And I think Alex is gonna share his. Yeah, so one of my favorite memories was hanging out with um, my cabin from Delco and we'd rock out to music and seeing Ronald Nagel jam out with his air guitar um, to any song or he'll break out the drums uh, and he can quote like any song and the year it was, it was um, put out. Um, another one of my favorite memories is um, always every night on the last night, we'll all get together in a big huddle and get together and that's like the last part of camp and it's always so much fun. Athletes, some of us can't remember, including me, what the name of that song is right now. So if you can remember the name of that song, give yourself a couple points and message me or text me the name of that song, please. All right, and my favorite memories from camp, our first one is at the pool party. Alice or Fred always jumping into the pool to mark the end of a great week at swimming. And another one is last year, Jamie's Cabin, shout out Bethlehem County, uh, saying rock peanut butter jelly time at karaoke night. Anyway, we love you guys and we're super bummed that we can't be with you this year, but hopefully next year and the years after, we'll all get to be at sports camp together. Love you guys. Hi, Special Olympics. This is Maria showing you another quick snack. Here we have carrot, celery, cucumbers, and tomatoes, just like you would have at camp during lunch and a little bit of ranch dressing. All you need is just a little bit of portion control on this. Five little sticks of celery and cukes and tomatoes and carrots would be just appropriate for an afternoon snack. Remember, it's not a meal. And we are bringing this to you today in our Corey's Kitchen, quite literally as my mom has it on her wall, Corey's Kitchen. She is our behind the scenes volunteer every year along with my dad. And she'll be helping me out with some of these videos. So it's very easy, quick, healthy snack so make sure you stay hungry out there okay we're back in Corey's kitchen to show you guys another snack or really nice easy side dish what we like to call jiddu salad named after our grandfather which is jiddu so what we have here is all of our ingredients so vinegar you can use just the apple cider vinegar or you like to mix it with the red wine and the apple cider but whichever you have they still taste great we're gonna have some olive oil. Any brand will do. Giarrusa is just my mom's favorite. Two little cucumbers, a small onion, and a small tomato. Of course, some salt and pepper for taste. And what I like to do first is get the onion going because what you want to do is you want to soak the onion in the vinegar first. Kind of take some of the harshness out of it especially in the winter months when the onions are a little bit more harsher. In summer, you don't have as much of a problem with that. So you wanna cut up the onion, peel off the excess skin and wrapping. Don't need those, you toss it. Now, we like to dice it so it's small and bite-sized, but you can make it a little bit bigger. Some people do that. need a nice little knife and you can also use either your flat butcher knife or you can use regular cutting knife. They both work the same. I'm just a fan of this one because it's easier to lift the veggies after you cut them. That's very true. I was going to get to that. Okay. This is the best part. It acts kind of like a spatula. 
and into your bowl. So, get the other one cut up, nice, easy. Watch those fingers, make sure you don't nick anything. This is a great little snack or side dish. You can add it to just about any meal from steak to chicken or even vegetarian lasagna. We happen to be having it tonight because we're having kibbe. So, but I'm showing you guys the snack size. What you want to do is then take a little bit of your vinegar and we're going to splash it on to your onions in case it was harsh like we were talking about earlier. And since I like to mix the vinegars, add a little bit of both, kind of get them soaking. Sometimes when you have older people, onions don't digest as well, so vinegar helps with that. So, cut up your cukes, and I do like to peel them. You don't have to, you can eat the skin of the cucumber. It's just not my favorite part. So, get these nice and skinned and peeled. You can use a larger cucumber, that's not a problem. It doesn't have to be these baby ones. They just happen to be in season. Unless you recycle them out to the garden because it is that time. And then you can either do chunks or little slices. Uh, if you have a larger cucumber, you'll probably want to slice it down the middle, maybe quarter it, because you do want these to be bite size. So, and then go ahead and chop. Again, wash those fingers. And we'll scoop, put into the salad. We're up to the tomato best part, you want to core it first. So take one of your sharper knives and take out the core. It's not like it's harmful, it just doesn't taste good. It's easier to work with if it's out. Pop it out, toss the remnants, and then you're going to slice it. Uh, I usually like to do it in half and then quarter it up. Uh, depending on how little I want to do it, you can also make this salad with cherry tomatoes and then just cut them in half, depending on if you have them in stock at your kitchen refrigerator. But again, you want to have these nice bite sized. So once you have like an eighth or sixteenth of a tomato, you want to then cut it again in three or four strokes, depending on how large the tomato is, because you want to give yourself a nice bite size. And I just mean regular bite size. Not, you know, like what Robbie or Pickle would use as a bite size. <laughs> so, again, get these all nicely chopped up. If you want this smaller, you could do it, but what you want to do is just have equal parts. So you want to try to keep everything about the same. Get this all finished. Have this little concoction it's kind of like layered you got onions cucumbers tomatoes and we already did the vinegar so what we're going to do is we're going to splash on the oil i like to go by two parts vinegar one part oil because oil is where you're going to get your good fatty from it but not too much you only need a little bit for flavor then you want to add some pepper a little bit of salt and then you want to stir it up. So what you have here is a nice side salad or a snack, especially if you're going to go a long time between lunch and dinner. And if you're making it at home for your family, it's a great for a side. Of course you can use the bigger version like we will tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bon appetit from Corey's Kitchen. Bye. Okay, so how you're gonna make this is you're gonna take some peanut butter on your knife and you are going to spread it on your celery. 
and celery is really good for you because it has vitamin K and vitamin A in it. And then you're going to get all kinds of nutrients in your peanut butter or alternative peanut butter solution. So you're going to peanut butter these up just a little bit. It has to be equal parts celery and peanut butter. We don't need anybody going crazy and just having peanut butter and no celery. when you have the darker green celery because you really get like the groove you can spread that peanut butter down in these ones are a little bit more flat that's okay it still works it all goes down the same place so get your nice little peanut butter going on last one remember this is just a snack so you shouldn't do more than five so now you have your nice little log, and now it's time for your ants. For ants, you're going to do raisins. Raisins are a great source of copper and some other nutrients that you actually need, like manganese. And you just want to put a couple on there because it's supposed to be fun. And they kind of look like your ants are marching on a log. So if anyone was in Girl Scouts, this was something you used to make back then as well. And you have your ants on a log. And then all you do is eat it. Really good healthy snack. Everybody should have a couple. And we're back in Corey's kitchen to give you guys a quick healthy dinner. And it is Taco Tuesday here in the Corey house. So here's what we're gonna do. Quick and easy, you can see all of our nice ingredients. We like to use Doritos instead of taco shells. We've got our cheese, we've got our onions soaking, some olives and tomatoes. Of course, we have our cut up lettuce. And over on the stove, already cooking, is our taco meat already blended with spices. And we even have some refried beans with some spicy chilies in there. So, whether it's just for one, or you have a whole crew eating at your house, you can eat and make healthy dinner. You only need a couple of chips because you're going to break them up. So, get a couple going there. I like to break them up so they're bite size and throw them everywhere. And then you get your nice little base going with your chips. Next is your lettuce because remember it is a salad. So I'm going to get a couple of pieces of lettuce here. And then if you like onions, what you recommend, because you want to have this year round even in the winter, you want to soak your onions in some vinegar. That way it'll take out the harshness in the winter months when they just aren't sweet anymore, but you still want some onion on your salad. So you just take a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot, unless you like a lot, and then you're going to sprinkle them around on your plate. And then... I like to do the tomatoes and the black olives. Sorry, this one's gonna be my mom's salad. She's not keen on the onions, so they're not gonna be on her salad, but that's what you would do. Just get a good sampling of some tomatoes and some black olives. Remember, it doesn't need to be gigantic. This is a, you can even use this as a snack if you wanted some awesome nachos, but right now we're doing taco salads. So you just have a nice little base going. Then you're gonna come on over to your meat. Remember, it shouldn't be a lot. It should just be a portion, a single portion. So you want to get your meat, spread it out a little bit. If you have a meat grinder that you chop everything up from Pampered Chef, it works really well when you're cooking the taco meat. That's what I like to use. So that's about what you wanna use for your meat and you can decide if you want your beans on the side of your salad or on your salad. I like to have it on, but my mom, mom likes to have it on the side. <laughs> so we're gonna give her a little scoop of beans on the side here. And if you look, there's little green peppers in there. Those are the chilies. They really set it off. Get the mild ones if you're not too keen on spices. You don't wanna get too hot. And we're gonna come back over here. 
We're gonna grab our Mexican cheese. You can also get taco cheese. This brand just happens to have Mexican. Give it a good swirl of cheese. You're gonna put some on the beans so they get nice and melty. Don't forget, you can give a dollop of sour cream and then about two spoonfuls of salsa. And there you have your Taco Tuesday right here in Corey's Kitchen. See you next time. All right, we're back at Corey's Kitchen to show you an, a special dessert treat you can do in one minute. And it is everybody's campfire favorite. It's a s'more. So you just need some graham crackers, some awesome Hershey bars, and of course, marshmallows. If you wanna do something fancy, you can use special dark or even maybe a Snickers. But we're just gonna do it with Hershey. So you're gonna take out your graham crackers, break it in half, then you're gonna take a marshmallow. If you really want it to be extra gooey, you could use two. And that's the way my dad likes them, so we're gonna give him two. And you get into your Hershey's, take out three of the squares, so a quarter of the bar, put it on top of the marshmallows as such, and put the other graham cracker on top. So you've got graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker. Now, with your microwave, you are gonna stick it in. You're gonna try 10 seconds. Any more might rupture it and then it'd be Mount Vesuvius <laughs> everywhere. So we're gonna do this. And what's gonna happen, you can't see it right now, the marshmallow actually starts to expand and the chocolate's gonna get nice and melty and gooey. And then we're gonna take it out. And then, see how the marshmallow got nice and gooey and your chocolate started getting nice and melted right here? And then, you're gonna take it, just like it was off the campfire, and voila. <laughs> I'm running a marshmallow all over you your face. It's so. hey. mm. so not till the middle of July. So good. But that's it for Corey's Kitchen tonight.